Hi, this video is going to show you how to make beaded circle earrings made with hexagon angle weave by me, Gwen Fisher, from Bead Infinitum. This presentation was made with Doceri Software, which is the premier software suite for hand-drawn communication designed specifically for teachers. Now I want to show you a couple other photos that I took of some beadwork that I made. And so in particular, here is a bracelet that goes with the blue and green earrings, and I'm going to show you how to make this more general hexagon angle weave in my next video. But in this video, we're going to learn how to make this earring in particular, and I've colored my diagram so that it actually goes with this photograph. Now I'm going to change my background here, and we're going to start by putting six beads down in the center in a loop, and the next round we're actually going to add a lot of beads in one round. So all of these beads here are going to get added in the second round. And then the third round will be the last one where we'll add those beads. And in particular, the bead sizes we're going to use are size 11s in three colors, 4 millimeters in two colors, and then 8s and 15s in one of the colors to match the 11s, in this case green. And we're going to start by picking up six beads in the center, so six yellow beads and then passing through all six of those beads again and passing through one more bead so that we are now positioned to start the second round. I'm not going to tie a knot yet in my beginning end of the thread. I'm going to wait and do that uh, when I'm finished with the entire bead work. And the reason is, is I don't want to tie a knot and have it be pulled into a size 11 seed bead because the holes in those aren't as big as they are in the four millimeters. So to start the next round, I'm going to pick up a 4 millimeter and 6 size 11 seed beads and pass through the second bead I just picked up, which is the first size 11 seed bead I just picked up. And you'll notice in my drawing, when I'm picking up new beads, I'm drawing the thread in with black, and then when I'm passing through a bead, I'm using red line to indicate that that's a pass through. To make the second loop, I'm going to pick up seven beads, so same seven beads, um, but with a different color, four millimeter. And then I'm going to pass through the second bead I just picked up. And then I'm going to pick up a four millimeter in the first color and pass through two beads in the center loop to make a loop. Um, to start the next loop in this round, I pick up those same seven beads and I pass through the second bead I just picked up. And then I pick up a four millimeter bead and I pass through four beads. So that sequence of picking up seven beads, passing through, and picking up a four millimeter and passing through, that's what we're going to repeat to get all the way around the circle. So we pick up seven beads, pass through, pick up one bead, pass through four. Pick up seven beads, pass through one, pick up one bead, pass through four. Pick up seven beads, pass through one, pick up one bead. And then this time we're actually going to need to pass through six beads to position ourselves to pick up the next four millimeter bead. We're going to sew around that loop until we get to the outside edge of the beadwork. Now we're going to pick up a 15, an 11, an 8, an 11, and a 15 and pass through four beads to get back to the outside edge of the beadwork. I'm going to make a little uh, picket or a point here by picking up one size 11 seed bead and then passing through the four beads to position myself now to start that sequence again where I pick up the five beads and I pass through four, I pick up one bead and pass through four. Pick up five, pass through four, pick up one, pass through four. And I'm going to do that all the way around the beadwork until I get back to where I started. Picking up five, pass through, pick up one. And then to finish the outside edge, I want to pass through all of the beads that are on the outside border of the beadwork until I get back to where I started. Then I'm going to sew back into the center of the beadwork, tie a knot just before entering a four millimeter bead, sew through a few more beads and cut my thread. Now I can finish the first end of my thread by tying a knot just before the four millimeter bead and passing through it and then I can cut the original end of my thread. The next thing I need to do in order to turn this into an earring is to add a little jump ring to the hole in one of the size 8 seed beads on the outside edge. And a 5 or 6 millimeter ring is a good size and 20 gauge will be thin enough to get into the hole of that size 8 seed bead. 
And the last thing you need to do is add in your wire and then you're done. So I hope you'll show me what you make. Thanks.